What's going on guys, my name is Mitch Tavian and this is part 5, I believe, of my login and register tutorial with the uh, SQL database in the cloud. And in this part, I am going to actually write some Java code here. So we're going to go and start in main activity. And start writing. So we're going to have a register button, we're going to have a uh, login button, and we're going to have a couple edit text for the email and one for our password and we're going to have some strings here so actually I'll go to the layout just so you have, you know what I'm doing here so now I'm writing the code behind this so we just need to uh, have an email input, a password input, login button and a register button and so that's what I'm doing here So there we go, we've type casted all the variables. Now let's just attach these buttons to on click listeners. Oops. Whoops. This is going to be our login task. This will make sense later when I write the background, uh, the uh, background task class. But for now, just uh, copy this down. New background task. New activity. This. Yeah, so that's red right now. Don't worry about it. sends the data we're going to reset the, the password and the email text to nothing and let's execute the task it's background task dot execute Some notes here for you guys. And so yeah, this will this will make sense in a little while when we get to writing the, the background. Oops, writing the background task button. Now we have the register button. And this is just going to be a simple intent. register class which I haven't made yet damn I can't type today okay so that should be good to go so since I just wrote that reminded me of the register class let's write the register class next extend that
this really out. Oh, I gotta make some global variables up here, I forgot. register layout which is going to be attached to this layout and we just have a name, password, email, and a register button. So first of all we just got to typecast all those. And text new name and copy pasta. Password and a text new password. And there we go. Okay, now we do our first onclick listener. Or it's actually our only onclick listener in this in this class. So name equals and a text name. Get text to string. Copy this a bunch of times. It's gonna be email and text email and so on password and add text password. Okay. We need to create a task. Or what I like to call task anyway. Call it register. And this again will make uh, make sense after I write the background task. I really can't type today. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So that's it for the register class. And now, let's write the logged in class. So the logged in class is going to be this layout, the one that's attached to this layout. So we're just going to have, it's going to be, it's going to say logged in with their email and welcome their name. We need your shared preferences here too. I'll show you why. I think I have a tutorial on shared, yeah, creating a login register with shared preferences if you guys want want more information on uh, sh shared preferences, but basically it's good. What I like to use it for is passing data between activities because you can store it in the Android memory and it gets, it gets erased when you close the app, but it's fine for passing things to and from activities and that's what I'm going to use it here for. So for this part, I'm, I'm creating a variable that is going to access shared preferences under the, the tag name and the default value will be error getting name so that's if it's unable to access this for some reason it will print out error getting name 
and then we're going to do the same thing for email and give it tag email and same thing so error getting email and then we're going to go name dot set text name and email dot set text email. so yeah so this all makes sense when I write the the background task but basically the background task is going to store the name and the email that accessed from the database into the Android's temporary shared preferences, preferences memory under the tag name and under the tag email and then we'll take those and set them here so yeah and then in the next tutorial I'm gonna write down the, the code for the background task and that's gonna be the last part and uh, the app should be up and running so I'll see you guys in the next video